Hey guys, Zen Precision out here at the Lancer booth. You guys, from what I understand, all this is the silver border. It's in the Wago Arms. And then, it's the Hitter Shop Show. You got it. So, can you tell me a little bit more about it? Yep, absolutely, absolutely. As Chris mentioned, you're here at the Lancer Systems booth, Shop Show 2020. We're here to take a look at the Lago Arms Alien. This pistol has been the talk of the show since day one. Actually, just won Recoil's uh, Best of Shot Award yesterday. So, nice. yeah, we've been really excited to be part of this whole process. So, the Lago, Ar Lago Arms Alien pistol, as you may have Heard is an absolute revolution in pistol design. When Lago set up to design this, they basically threw the book out on pistol design and created a completely new design from scratch. If five patents pending on this design, a ton of innovation and technology packed into one package. So right off the bat, you may notice the bore axis on the Alien is very, very low. It's actually the lowest bore axis of any production pistol in the world. So they tucked it way down into the frame, and what that does for you is it keeps the recoil impulse very, very straight back. So rather than having any muzzle rise on this gun, very, very flat shooting. So most high-end race guns these days, you're looking at about 13 to 14 degrees of muzzle rise, or muzzle flat. Right. You know, which in and of itself is not terrible. So the Lago is about five degrees. So it's less than half, but a third of the muzzle flip that you're getting from most high-end competition race guns these days. So very, very different shooting experience, very flat, very fast. What you may notice next on this is it's got a very unique slide design. So what they did is they removed the whole top of the slide here, and they made it so that only the sides of the slide reciprocate. So that gets you two big benefits. Number one, it's a very low reciprocating mass, so you lost all this weight on top of the slide. Most traditional pistol designs, this is closed on top. It's a lot of weight, it's a lot of mass up there, and that weight up top on the gun, moving back over top of your wrist, that's what creates a lot of that felt recoil and muzzle rise. So by dropping all of that mass on the top, and then putting all the, the mass of the slide down into the frame, that's going even further into keeping this gun very, very flat when you're shooting it on target. One of the really other unique features about the way they designed this slide is this top rail is fixed. So what that means is that when this gun cycles, your sights are never moving. So you don't lose your sight picture in between shots. Even the best competition shooters in the world, in between every shot, you're waiting to reacquire that sight picture. It might be a fraction of a second. But in competition, fractions of a second add up to full seconds. Right, and I always hear all the competition shooters saying, okay, you just have that visual patience to get that right, right? and have your trigger prep to be able to let it go. You got it, yeah. So good good competition yeah. shooters, they really work on nailing their cadence. They know when that pistol's going back into battery. You're able to get a cadence that's much, much faster on the Alien than anything you've ever felt out. Well, I'm just looking at it from the side. Yep. So we're talking about really low bore access, kind of comparing it to some of the other ones that have that like a CZ-75. Yep. Right? You know, so th this is about a half an inch lower, lower than the CZ-75. So it's actually a negative bore axis, which is the only one in the world that's a production pistol. So if you look at the side, the barrel itself is actually below my trigger finger on the frame of the gun. If you look down inside here, it may be a little dark, but you see the chamber. The chamber is actually sitting almost a quarter of an inch below my grip axis. So very, very low. All the reciprocating mass rise in line with that. So you get a very, very flat recoil profile on this gun. This fixed top rail that we talked about, one of the really innovative features of it is how it attaches to the gun. So with a single takedown pin in the front of the gun here, you can pop this slide off in about a second. Sorry, this top rail. The top rails are interchangeable. So you have one with the red dot optic, and it also will come with one that has uh, adjustable competition iron sights on it. So in a matter of seconds, you can switch back and forth, whether you want to run different divisions in the same day, if you want to train on the range with a red dot, train with iron sights for a bit, a matter of seconds, you're switched back and forth, and it retains perfect zero every time. And your iron sights is the front fiber uh, optic? <laughs> it is. Fiber optic front, fully adjustable rear for wind and and elevation. So you know, very high-end competition adjustable sights coming right out of the box with this gun. So hold that for just a moment. Let's take a look at some of the internal workings of the Alien, some of the features that make this really unique. So the operating system of the Alien is a gas-delayed blowback piston system. So gas-delayed blowback's been around for a while. It's not commonly used in pistols, so that makes it a little bit unique. But HK did something similar with the P7 years back. And what Laugo did is they took the concept of a gas-delayed blowback and they flipped the entire system upside down. So they actually put the operating system, the recoil spring, and the, uh, the piston up on top of the barrel. So rather than a conventional pistol where you have your recoil rod and everything operating the gun underneath the barrel, it's flipped upside down. That's what gets that barrel so low in that frame. That was very interesting. Yeah, and in addition to that, what, what Lago did is they actually fixed the barrel to the frame. So the barrel's not moving when you fire this gun. Most conventional pistols, your barrel is kind of going in and out of battery during the locking and unlocking process, coming out of your bushing, coming back in. What that does is, A, when the barrel moves, it's always going to be an effect on your accuracy. So having a fixed barrel lends it to be an extremely accurate platform. 
In addition, getting rid of all those moving parts removes all of that time from the cycling of the gun. So this gun cycles very, very quickly. It actually cycles the gun in 0.06 seconds. It's one of the fastest cycle times of a pistol that's ever been made. The way this piston system works is there's a gas port in the block on the barrel here. When you fire the round, the gases expand and that pressure puts pressure on this piston and locks the slide forward. By having that piston locking the slide closed, it's also locking the breech closed in the back of the chamber, so you don't have to deal with any of those conventional locking mechanisms, slowing down the cycle of the gun. So once the round leaves the barrel, the system is able to depressurize and the remaining pressure buffers that piston and runs the slide back. So between the low reciprocating mass of the slide and the operating system, it's able to run very, very fast. So again, a lot of innovation, a lot of really cool technology packed into this pistol design. It really is going to be the future of where pistols are going. Yeah, very nice. It looks like from the top down they're designing it to isolate uh, your muzzle rise, muzzle flip. And I'm also looking at kind of your grip texture. Can you tell me a little bit more about the grip? You got it, yes. Yeah, so they're using G10 grip panels on the side and then the rear and front are actually machined during the uh, machining process from the aluminum. So you're getting a lot of grip out of it, but they were able to really find the sweet spot on this gun. So nothing is actually chewing up your hand, but it does feel like Velcro when you grab it. Yeah, that looks, that looks like, like I said, isolation top to bottom. You got it. Gun control. You got it. Very, very good isolation, very good grip on the gun. Yep. So I'll throw that top, top rail back on. You can see how easy this goes on. You literally drop it right in place. Yep, so if that pins out, you drop it on, pull it back, pop the pin in, you're ready to go. You got it. Well, let's talk about the first ones. I'm hearing that there's going to be a limited run that comes in. You got it. Special box. Right. Yep. So the first 500 that we're bringing into the U.S. are what's part of uh, it's called Signature Edition. So Signature Edition, and we can show it to you over there if you want to get some additional clips. On the side of the frame, it actually carries the designer's signature. So this one is one of the production models. So we don't have it on it, but Signature Edition has the designer's signature on the side of the frame. They're all numbered one through 500, so very collectible. So they're going to always go up in value. They're never going to make another Signature Edition. And the designer, Jan Luchansky, who if you're familiar with that name, he actually designed the CZ Scorpion. Worked for Scorpion for a number of years. So. Jan is not, is agreed, he's not going to make another signed model of the ammo ever down the road. So a lot of collectability. The signature edition, as I mentioned, limited 500 pieces, is going to come bundled as an entire package. So it's going to be race ready the minute you receive it. So what that's going to come with is the pistol itself. You're going to get the top rail with the red dot sight, and the red dot sight is included. It's a 6 MOA dot that Laugo is manufacturing for this pistol. There will be additional adapters available down the road. So if you want to run an Acro or an SRO, an RMR, you'll have the option to do that. But for right now, it's going to come with Laugo 6 MOA dot. It's going to come with a second fixed top rail with the adjustable competition iron sights on it. So it's almost like you're getting two pistols in one. You'll be able to run this gun in limited, in open, in certain uh, tack ops or carry optics, production optics. So a lot of options right out of the box with this pistol. It's going to come with three 17 round magazines. Uh, additional magazine options will be available down the road as well. So we're already working on a 140 mil and a 170 mil magazine for competition for the limited open guys or three gun, USPSA, and stuff like that. Um, one of the best parts about the package is in addition to that second top rail, it's also going to come with the adjustable holster system. So the race holster for this gun, it's an aluminum uh, setup. So if you want to pan down, I'll show you how this works. The track system with an aluminum bracket mount, and you can actually adjust the ride height of this holster or remove the whole thing. So it's a really, really nice setup. Competition ready, right out of the box. Adjustable retention on this holster. So basically everything is coming right out of the box, ready for, ready for race, ready to go. Ready, ready for your first match, ready to start putting the hurdles in people. What's the weight on? Weighs about 2.47 pounds unloaded. Um, so that does comply with most production weight limits, um, but it does give you a nice heft in your hand. Again, as you may know, competition pistols always err on the heavier side. Cuts down on that felt recoil, cuts down on that muzzle flip, stabilizes the gun further. Very nice. Thank you for your time. You got um, it. So, last question I'm sure everyone's yep. gonna ask. Where do they go? Yep, really easy. So we at Lancer Systems made it really easy for you guys. We created a whole separate website for Laugo here in the U.S. The URL is laugo.us. So really, really easy to get to. Right at the top of the website, the big red bar says pre-order yours today. We're already about a third of the way through pre-order allocations on your limited uh, signature edition. But you can get, get to the laugo.us site. It'll take you over to Lancer site. You'll be able to put your pre-order in today. All right, great. Sounds like I better get running and uh, get my order in. Get your credit card out on the way. All right. Thank you, guys. You got it. All right. All right.